In case you haven't seen the first video about the Illumicon, this drawing machine works by using a motorized turntable and sets of gears to move a miniature light in complex patterns. These patterns are recorded by a camera positioned above the machine with its shutter locked open to produce images like this and this. As interesting as it was, the Illumicon's wood gears were hard to make, it was heavy and inconsistent. Fast forward two years to one day when I was using my new hypnograph drawing machine and it occurred to me that it had all that was needed for an improved Illumicon. And so the Hypno Illumograph was born. The first step was to drill a hole in the center of the main drive disc and mount a 10 RPM gear motor on it so that the shaft came up through the bottom. This unit was then mounted on a frame made of scrap wood. The dimensions don't really matter. A plywood disc covered with steel, in this case scraps of iron strapping, was mounted on the shaft. Shafts with gears at both ends were mounted on wood fingers that were held to the main disc with magnets, which allowed the positions of the gears to be adjusted simply by sliding the fingers wherever they were needed. The lower gear engages the main drive and the upper gear just acts as a mount for the pivots. Gears can be changed simply by removing the nuts, the tops and the bottoms, taking off the old gear and putting whatever gear on you want. Tighten your nuts and you're done. This unit is a box holding a blue LED pointing upward through a pinhole punched into aluminum foil. This supplies the light to create the image. So, let's fire her up and see how she does. First up, we'll look at this single gear fixed pivot configuration. Here's what it looks like in operation. Next, we'll freeze the shutter open and see what a whole trace looks like. At first glance, it doesn't look too bad, but if we get a little closer, we can see the lines have a lot of little wiggles in them. These would show up in an 8x10 print, so they need to be fixed. There are also some ghost images visible in the original image that need to be reduced. The ghosting problem was solved simply by painting everything the camera could see black. The wiggles were caused by the drive arm flexing and the small shoulder on the drive pin allowing it to rock back and forth. The flexure problem was solved by gluing a stiff piece of wood to the top of the arm. The rocking by gluing a one inch diameter washer to the drive pin so we had a lot, much larger shoulder for the drive arm to ride on and it doesn't rock as much. The height of the LED was cut to one third of its original height which reduces the distance the pinhole moves in response to any remaining vibrations. Finally, a liberal application of white lithium grease to all sliding surfaces should help it run smoother. Well, let's go see if it works. This is the same trace. I just didn't get the LED in the exact same position, so the hole in the center is a little larger. It looks better, but let's zoom in to see if the wiggles are gone. And they are. The background looks a little blue because the masking around the base of the LED isn't perfect, but a little black tape will fix that. Now that we've got all the bugs worked out, let's look at a few examples to see what this machine can produce. This cycloid, or spirograph type trace, was produced by simply placing the light on a 41 tooth gear moving around the main 120 tooth base gear. The drive arm wasn't used. For this pattern, a different colored LED was used. Notice how the color and brightness changes across the face of the trace. This is because areas where the light is moving slower get overexposed, whereas those where it's moving faster are darker. This can create a 3D effect. Some people looking at this trace see a donut or a torus. Here we have the drive pin on a 40 tooth gear, the light on the drive arm, and a slider pin on a 41 tooth gear. This simple trace is a good example of how images created by light drawing machines differ from those made by scanning a trace made by a conventional drawing machine to create a digital copy of it. The scanned image will have lines that are all the same thickness and brightness. Light drawing machines create lines that are brighter and thicker where the light is moving slower and dimmer and thinner where it's moving faster. This gives them a quality impossible to create by scanning traces made by a pen. 
light created images also have a subtle glow around the lines, which further enhances their unique character. This final example shows two tricks for creating even more interesting images. First, by closing the shutter before the trace is complete, instead of a simple spiral image, you can create one like this that suggests a petal structure. Second, adding light colored paper under the light lets the camera capture a bright background to emphasize the trace. The Hypnolumograph is capable of making hundreds of unique images direct to digital format. It takes some effort to find them, but it's well worth it. For more articles about many different types of drawing machines, please visit my main website, waynesthisandat.com, and scroll down to the Drawing Machines section. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.